This is Officer Alex Watson working with the Criminal Investigation Division of the IRS, Internal Revenue Service. Alex Watson, that's your name? Yes sir, how can I help you? I, I just, I'm going to give you the opportunity to try again with that name. What's your actual name? It's clearly not Alex it's Watson. Alex, Alex Watson? Right, it's, your name's Alex Watson, okay, Alex Watson. Uh, I'm facing some sort of issue, I'm getting, oh, I've just done it as if it's a tech support scam. I uh, got a call earlier uh, from you. Can I have a name for your call? Yes, Ben. B E N. And the last name? Lorde. Sorry. My, mid my middle name is Kenneth, and that starts with K. I'll wait a second. Let me just check that. Out. Okay, Benjamin Kenneth Lorde is my name. Um, Benjamin Kenneth Lorde. Yeah. Uh, L O V E D A Y. L A U D E. L A U D A. L A U D E. Okay, so it's Lude. <laughs> if you like, if you want to pronounce it like that, so you can pronounce it how you like. Oh, Benfield, young go. I'll use Benfield next time. I haven't used that one for a while. Yes, yeah, and your current billing address, the chart. My current billing address. Is that what you'd like? It's billing. Yep, one zero eight five. One zero eight five Joanne Lane. It's in. I don't even know how to pronounce that. What the hell is that? Hello, are you still there, Internal Revenue yes. Service? Yes, I'm still here. Yeah, it's uh, Philadelphia. Um, one uh -huh. and the zip code is one nine one zero eight. One nine one zero eight. Yeah. All right, just give me a moment here. I'll check this out for you. Thank you very much. Now, please write down my name for the reference. Yep, your name. My first name is Randy. R A N D Y. Randy. Yep. Yes. And the last name is Chod, C H O D. Rundy Chod. Yeah. Right. Okay. All right. So your name. So I, th I think we are. I think we are related, aren't we? We are what? Sorry. I guess we are related. Well, we must be. We're both. We've both got the same surname. Yeah, we do. So, <coughs> what's the story behind your surname? I mean, well, come on, can you share that to me? Yeah, of course I can share it with you. It's just like been in the family for years, really. What what else is there to it? You know, chilled, it's just a surname. Nothing special. Yeah, nothing special. Just like, well, where does your name come from? It's been in the family for long. So your family have a habit of uh, having sex with prostitutes, do they? Yeah, we do. Ah, oh, right. It. Okay, that makes sense. Well, and fair your enough. Family to you. Has a, That's your and thing. your family has a habit of <laughs> having sex with your sisters. No, more your sister. <laughs> but that's besides the point, isn't it? So, have you got my case ID or what? No, sir. I mean, your case ID is right down your mama's pussy. So you right, can go and get fake call. Call the number yourself. Alright, bye bye. Pussy the case? Oh my god. What have they done wrong? I yes. Mean, come on, man. What have they done so wrong? You're, you're, that's what I'm telling you. So, you believe that no one has ever done anything wrong? Well, what have they done? They what have they done to deserve hundreds of dollars being stolen off them? What what have they done? Like, what justifies that? What justifies it? The fact that they don't use their brain. I I believe all of us are born equal. And if some people are stupid enough to fall for such a crappy scam that I'm running, then that's their fault, not mine. I believe in survival of the fittest, survival survival of the smartest. And if people don't want to utilize their brain, people are too stupid and ignorant to know that a scam is being run, and people believe in a crap with my kind of voice, the kind of voice I have, the kind of English I speak, and people still fall for it? Come on, is that my fault or is that the fault of their fault? Well, it's your fault for running it. Some people are just my that fault. stupid, for lack of a better word. They can't help it. If they're, t if they're gullible enough to fall for this Come crap, as you say, because it is a load of crap, Yeah, it is, it is your crap. fault for running it. It's the biggest it. crap. How can, you do, how can you punish someone by stealing their, st stealing their money just because of their mental capacity for not being able to recognize a scam. No, I'm not. I'm not scamming on the mentally ill people. I'm scamming it on. Oh fully my fit, god! Fully I didn't say mentally come ill. On, come mental on. capacity doesn't instantly yeah. mean that someone's mentally ill. No, I, I understand, but come on, mental capacity. I mean, even a five-year-old would know that this is a scam. But come on, if they are stupid enough to fall for it, then I don't look at it as an op. I look at it at it as an opportunity. I don't look at this as a scam. Well, the world is full of opportunity. You need to grab them. Well, you, right, you are grabbing them. opportunities, but it's illegal and scummy to steal off people. Would you just walk up to some stupid person, someone that isn't educated, in the street and go and steal their money? Would you do that as well? But they don't have any money. That's the problem. 
Right, so no one you've ever met has any money. Is that what you're telling me? A lot me? of them don't have money to be... A lot of them, to be honest, don't have the money to pay for it. But those who do, I don't mind taking it from them. So you're, you're a thief, basically? Yeah, I am. I mean, come on. I'm, I'm a thief. Everyone is a thief. The politicians you vote for, they're the, they are thieves. The bureaucrats, who's not a thief? I'm not a thief. Everyone is a thief. The, big the people watching the big this, like, the thousand people watching this call yeah. aren't thieves, I don't think, because they're against scammers. I beg your pardon? Well, like I said, I'm not a thief, and the thousand people watching this stream, this call being live-streamed, probably aren't thieves either, because they're against scammers. No, they, are, they, they might be against crack scammers, but come on, you can't walk straight on a crooked road. Come on, you cannot do that. Why Why do you, you not have... have with the flow. Why could you not just get a normal job? Because it doesn't pay me good. It doesn't pay you good, but stealing people's money do. So you don't have any morals whatsoever. Of course it does. Morals, morals go out of the window the moment you see money. Right, well at least you're honest. I'll give you that. You're the most honest scammer I've ever met. I know. I mean, what's the point in lying to you? You know I'm, being, I, you know I'm a scammer, so I, I, I just don't want to waste my time or your time. I'm having an honest chat with you. Well, I'd That's rather that. About it. I'd rather you do that than just call me a boss and you can hang up the phone. So fair enough to you. But literally. So what do you do for a living, sir? What What do I do for a living? Well. I'm out of college at the minute, so basically what I'm doing right now, all of these um, these uh -huh. chats, all of these chats for scammers go up on YouTube for thousands of people to see. I know, I see, I see a lot of video, and the funny thing about it is that when you post those videos on YouTube and the people comment that oh how we waste their time, I mean I find it funny that you people are so proud that you wasted our time, but you don't realize that how many people are being scammed here. I never oh, see I a know. comment in I know, YouTube we where just... people comment that oh. You guys think that the small 30, 30 minutes or the 40 minutes that you waste of ours and you consider it as a victory. But the fact yeah. of the matter is, we earn a lot, sir. I'm being I know you do, and that's a sad and truth. I, that's, that's, I know that we don't have that much of an impact, but if we can at least waste enough time for at least one person to stop getting scammed, that is having an impact. Simple as. No, sir, trust me. Trust me, it doesn't. I know, I know, I know what you're trying to explain to me, but you haven't been on my shoe, sir. And uh, the way we operate here, sir, I can be on this phone line the entire day if you want me to. I can honestly be. And it will barely make a difference. It will barely make a difference to what I do. It barely makes a difference. So have you had, ish have you had call spammers recently where literally computer programs type all your phone lines? Does that have no impact on you either? I beg your pardon? Does something like a computer program that spams all your phone lines have nothing, like, no uh, impact either then? No, basically not, sir. I mean, you can show up my number anywhere you want. You can report this number anywhere will, you want. It doesn't I make will a definitely show you money. I'll show your number. So it's 141-026-74925. And that is being broadcast live to 1,120 people. You can hear this chat. Sure, no problem. No problem. Trust like that's, me. Uh, not I'm not making a video. I'm not making a video right now. I'm streaming this live to YouTube. I know. I understand that. You can stream it live. I understand. I know what you guys do. But it's okay. Sorry. You're not the first person who's done it. I mean, a lot of people put our number up on social media everywhere. <laughs> it doesn't make a difference. Nah. It's not the same number we use. Well, I can't. I don't think it's going to be the same for every single scammer. I'm sure a smaller scammer company, a smaller scamming company, uh, would basically have like, and it, we would have an impact on them. Maybe I don't know. Your call center has hundreds of people in, but I'm pretty sure not all call centers are in the same situation, are they? Yeah, you could say that. Well, fair enough to you, and I do appreciate your honesty. You have actually left me pretty much speechless. I know that. I know. No, sir. Come on. The thing about life is that it's not fair. Life is never, never fair. So if you're gonna play the game, if you're not gonna play life in a fair manner, you're ultimately gonna lose, sir. I mean, come on. I scam. If I scam a single uh, one guy, if I scam a one guy after seven thousand or eight thousand dollars, but the politicians, they are scamming billions of billion people of just one dollar. Who's the biggest scammer, sir? You need to think about it. I look at life that way, sir. You want to look life uh, at the way it looks like? Then that's wrong, sir. You need to introspect you need to think about it and you need to look at life the way it is not that way you'll realize how big life is sir, and how unfair life is right I know you are you're 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 privileged to be in a beautiful country blessed country you have your medical care all those kind of shit your social security benefits your disability benefits i mean our government doesn't give us shit okay but i know you will never probably never understand what what it's like to be in a third world country Never mind.
Right. That's how we are, how we have been brought up, how we have looked life, how we have lived life. That's the way we have become. So it, at the end of the day, it's my choice to be what I am. But it is definitely your choice to be what you are, but I completely, completely disagree with the, with what you do. I know, I, I understand that, and I know, sir, I believe in karma, to be honest, and I know that one day this is going to come and get me, and something bad is going to happen to me, but the fact is that I've accepted it. I'm ready for whatever is coming my way. I, I don't deny stuff, I don't pretend to, you know, disagree or run away from stuff that I know is evident, but, you know, that's how I am, sir. So do you, do you, do you agree that it is wrong doing what you're doing, basically? It is totally totally wrong sir what i'm doing is morally ethically wrong sir any which way you look at it it is wrong it's the wrong way to live it's the wrong way to earn money but you gotta do what you gotta do sir well at least you realize that i am absolutely gobsmacked with this call i never expected anything like this uh i know i know sir i, I appreciate your honesty anyway all right anyway sir you have a good day. If there's still something more you want to know, you can ask me. Right. Well, thanks for that. All right, then. You right. have a good day, sir. All right. Bye. Uh, bye bye. Wow. What the hell just happened there? Well, I was not expecting that one. Let's just say that. I was far from expecting something like that. That's actually maybe quite speechless, that is. That's insane. Mm. Yep. That guy went pretty deep into it. Wow.